Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Silly Skylines, the British Challenge with me, Pug Gaming. So before we jump into episode 18, I want to jump back to my previous video which was Name the British Challenge. And I'll be honest, <laughs> I had a lot more responses back than I was expecting in terms of naming all of these locations. And it was extremely difficult to choose the first one. There's so many great, great ideas and you've all listed so many but I decided to go for Newbury, which is by FSX Beginner 9000. So, congratulations, you have won the first of the British Naming Challenge. Now, as you know, there's a lot more still left to name in this British Challenge, and it's all down to you guys. I've had a lot of feedback, as I say, for all zones so far, but what I would like from you now is to have some more feedback any new subscribers anyone else who hasn't had chance to I would really be grateful for you to take some of your time and just give me a few ideas on what you'd like to name a certain zone if you forget what zones are available to name at the moment head back to the video I'll put a link in the description for you to have a look and go through the video and see what areas are left as I say this is the first area so there is plenty, plenty of time left. We'll be doing one per episode. And the next episode, we will be naming the golf course, which is up in this left-hand corner. So any ideas for you guys for this golf course? Already got a few. Keep me posted in the bottom of this comments or drop me a line on social media. So anyway, now that's out of the way, let's get on to episode 18, which I've labelled the British Pub and I'm sure you can <laughs> guess what will be coming up in this episode but we're going to start here with just a time lapse you may notice from the last episode I did do a little bit off camera um, don't hate me but we did a few little paths a few more tree lines and just just something to get the thing get the area going I didn't want to waste too much time on too many time lapses of me doing the same thing placing trees placing paths etc so this first part of this time lapse is just the beginning we're going to start working on some of the church area there's a lot to fill out in terms of greenery and other areas so it's going to be a bit of a time lapse in the episode but we're also going to do a one-on-one -on -one let's play on the British pub that I've put down so there'll be a lot of detailing on there and we're going to do that together live so the first major project of this episode is working on the large church and I do really really like this church it's an incredible asset and it shows what you can do and what the beauty is of this game in terms of just adding some props around the side obviously being a church there's going to be gravestones I've already put those down a lot of trees and it really does take shape as soon as you do that and it's incredible what a bit of detailing can do to an area I do follow a lot of people on City Skylines, obviously the famous guys. We've got my cult hero, which is Corellis. Um, we've got Flux, we've got Fresh Popcorn, we've got a few others as well. But I also do follow a lot of the not so big subscribers, and some of them do do some amazing work. And it's interesting, really, to see how everyone details in such a different way. But anyway, nonetheless, let's move on to the British pub detailing live. So I found a standard UK pub from the workshop and I had a bit of space here at the back and obviously here the next obvious thing to do here is to create a little pub garden. I know this pub has one attached to it, it's not really much of a garden in my opinion so what I've noticed as well a lot in the UK is there are a lot of pubs backing onto people's gardens um, and they certainly do have gardens in a lot of British pubs now there's not many you'll see that don't um, obviously in London and busier areas you're not going to have as much space and freedom to add these uh, these pub gardens but I wanted to add this in here I'm not too sure in terms of pubs in Milton Keynes not somewhere I've <laughs> really been for a drink to be honest so correct me if I'm wrong but um, I'm going to put this in here anyway and that also reminds me there are a lot more pubs in in Britain in sort of towns and city areas so I do need to add a lot more pubs thinking about things but also petrol stations I haven't actually got round to adding too many of those and there's one pretty much on every roundabout these days especially in sort of Milton Keynes area but anyway what we're doing here is we're just going to create a little pathway just to show an entrance to the, the pub garden 
And now what I want to do is find a suitable sort of playground area. So we'll put this down in this corner here. And that will do. Not sand pits. Maybe go around. No, it doesn't really suit the theme. Let's see what else have we got here. So let's put some flowers down as well. I want to try and put a border line around here with some nice flowers. But that, that's actually pretty cool. We'll um, put this out the front. A couple of bollards. Yep, like that down there. Okay. That looks good. I like that. So we've got a little car park in the corner here. Not nothing massive. I'm not going to add a car park really. It's not necessary in my opinion. Okay, so that's that bit done. Don't worry about that. All right. Okay. So next, we want to add a sort of either tree line or some sort of bush area just around the sides. I've used this quite a lot. This is quite a nice one actually, I like this. Um, we'll whack this around these corners here. Don't want to do it all the way around, just here and there just to create a little bit of ambience here. And these, I do like these ones because they do flip and rotate the color of the um, flowers on there as well. So it gives a bit of variance in the actual build, which is really nice. So we'll go up to here and then in the opposite corner as well, we'll add a bit more down here, just like that and take it into this corner as well because nothing else is going to really go on in this corner, just like that. And a few little flowers in between as well just to make things look a little bit more pretty. So now we need to add some benches. So we're going to stick to just benches, not chairs. So we'll put these scattered around here. Um, you do notice in pub gardens, they're not always in a straight line. The benches, they do scatter them all over the place and people tend to move them around so they can sit with other people. So we'll kind of create that here. Okay, now we need to try and find what we're we looking for here. So I want to try and find the grass um, border things that we used in a couple of episodes ago. We'll chuck this van in this corner here. This can be like a delivery little area here for for the pub itself. Whack that down there. Um, and we'll put some gravel in actually. I'm going to have, what we'll do is we'll have half it sort of gravel and the other half we'll use as grassy area. So we've got the gravel for the, the seats in the area and the grass for the sort of kids play area as well. Okay, so now we need to try and find this grassy bit. We'll, we'll add this in actually, yeah, just to bring, just to make things look a little bit more. Yeah, and the cobbles actually. We'll put these cobbles down. I think they look a bit better than having the um, the gravel. I do like the combination of both, to be honest, and some of the leaves as well. I like putting these down. Put those underneath there. That will probably do. One underneath there, and there, and there. Okay. We'll leave it over in that corner because we're going to put down the. She's saying that we're probably going to be overtaking this anyway when we find um, find the grass banks. So let's try and find those now. Remember where where they were. I think they're at the end of this. And we won't put the mud down this time. There we go. Here we go. Right. Okay. So we want to use the long one like last time. We'll need to, no, we can't do it with this one. Okay, let's get rid of that. And find the longer piece. That's the smoothed edge. We need the one which is the straight edge. There we go. So we'll plop these down. So what I found as you saw in a few episodes ago is you plop them right on top of each other and on distance you can see where they're connected but nice and up close like we're looking here they do connect extremely well and you can get away with it as well you can't really see where one starts and one ends and um, do a little curve here it doesn't be better if there was actually was a curved one but we'll have to use this circular one here and that looks all right we'll keep it like that um, but that's also got me thinking now as well we'll add some grass I think in the actual pub garden here so we'll have these first few bits up on grass so we'll put that there 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 and one more across just to there excellent that looks great i think that looks really good i think we're pretty much there to be honest what we'll do is we'll um 
let's some trees just around the outline we want to try and fill up the um the back end to where all the people are actually living with a few trees just to separate that and give them a little bit of privacy as well and i think that's pretty much it i'm going to do a bit more now but we'll jump into a time lapse here because i'm going to be doing a bit more of the grassy area and add a few paths around this little block here and we'll catch up shortly So there we go, we added a football stadium, well, a football ground, we added a school, we've done some detailing, we added the trees, and we have done about three quarters of this area now. So I'm going to leave you with a little bit of an overview of what we've done today, and I will catch you in my next episode. Thanks for watching, all the best. <laughs>